Hello everyone, let's provide a solution to this problem. This is very simple because, okay, we have square root of 2x all over x, which is equal to 2. Now, if you do not know the first step to take, then you will find it very difficult. Okay, remember this is over 1, so we can just cross multiply, so that square root of 2x will give us um, 2x, right? Yes. So now, what do we do? Remember that we need to remove this square root. And we do that by taking the square of both sides. So we square this, which will be equal to 2x. Then the whole of this will be squared as well. This will cancel this. So that 2x will now be equal to 2x squared times 2x squared will give 4x squared. Now let's rearrange this. This is the same thing as 4x squared to be equal to 2x. Now bring everything to the left. So we have 4x squared minus 2x, which will give 0. Now what is common to this two? We have x here, we have x there. 2 is found here, 2 is also there. So I'll bring out 2 first, x is there, bring it out, then 4x squared divided by 2x will give us 2x, right? Then minus 2x divided by 2x will give 1. This will be equal to 0. From here, we apply 0 product rule, meaning that 2x is equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here, our x is equal to 0 over 2, or from this, 2x is equal to 1. And then x here is equal to 0 over 2 will give 0, or on this side, we can divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. This cancels this, meaning that x is equal to 1 over 2. Now we bring the two solutions together. Therefore, x is equal to 0 or 1 over 2. But sometimes the two solutions may not satisfy the equation. Remember the original equation is square root of 2x over x equals some 2. Okay? And then if we put in the value of x to be 0, then we are going to have square root of 2 multiplied by 0 divided by 0 okay and the fact that we are dividing this by 0 means that this is undefined because when you have to divide anything by 0 it is directly undefined so this is to confirm that x to be equal to 0 does not satisfy the equation now let's try the second solution where x is equal to 1 over 2 Okay, so this means that we're going to have square root of 2. In place of x now, I have 1 over 2, right? And the whole of this will be divided by x, which is now 1 over 2. The question is, will this give us 2? Let's give it a try. So if we continue from here, then we have square root of 2 can go there. So we have 1 all over 1 over 2. And by the way, square root of 1 will give 1. So we have 1 divided by 1 over 2. Remember that you are to turn this to multiplication. So we have 1 multiplied by 2 will go up. And then 1 will come down. At the end of the day, we have 2 over 1. Right? And 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2. So this is to confirm that... Okay, this is to confirm that x equal to 1 over 2 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.